Hello everybody, 10th Doctor Matt here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to style your hair like the 10th Doctor. Now we're going to talk about how to do the uh, tenant hair in two different styles, well, two and a half really. Um, the first style is the sticky uppy, and that's kind of where the two and a half comes in. The first version, let's say, of the sticky uppy that I'm going to cover is like the style that David had in Silence in the Library, where it's just kind of more straightforward, spiky, and the second version of the sticky uppy that we're going to talk about is uh, like what he had in uh, Partners in Crime, where it's um, kind of more of a little bit curly, kind of falling over to the right side type of thing. The second style that we're going to talk about is what I call Barefoot on the Moon, which is the style that David had in Smith and Jones. Now he only had that in the one episode, and I feel like a lot of people really liked it, but um, any other tutorial videos that I've seen haven't covered it. So I thought that I would, because it's a really nice style to do for uh, when your hair is a bit longer. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the products we're gonna use. Most importantly, Hair Concrete. This is by Alterna, it's from their hemp line of products. And basically what it is, it's kind of like a wax, uh, but it's a little bit drier, it's less oily, and uh, it smells really nice. And uh, the hold that you get is fantastic. I mean, this stuff is awesome. The really nice thing about this product is that it's really easy to reshape. So if something happens throughout the day and it messes up your hair, it's really easy to just kind of quickly ruffle it and then it'll look great again. Next, hairspray. What I use is Trustmay's Freeze Hold. It's their strongest hold hairspray. And um, what I really like about it is that even though it gives you a really great hold, it doesn't turn your hair into a rock. So, you know, your, your hair still maintains that sort of flowy, um, soft look that, that's really kind of what you're going for with this style. Next, medium tooth styling comb. And I say medium tooth because uh, it sort of helps give you that textured look that you really want. If you use a comb that's too fine toothed, uh, your hair is going to be very smooth and more clean cut looking. Now, if you have curly hair, like I do, you're going to need straighteners. Um, and what I suggest is that you spend a couple extra bucks and either get a wet-dry straightener or at least one that you can adjust the temperature uh, because basically what's going to happen is you're going to be straightening your hair while it's still a bit damp and you don't want to burn it or damage it and make it frizzy looking. Uh, another thing that you might need if you have thick hair, again, like me, uh, you might want to buy a texturizing comb, also known as a thinning comb. Uh, basically all it is, it's a fine tooth comb on one end and on the other end there's a razor blade in there. And so it basically acts like texturizing shears that you would uh, have done at a salon. And so basically, you know, I would say maybe once every two or three weeks, you can give it a run through your hair. Um, and what it'll do is kind of thin out your hair and help give it the textured PC look that you want. Now, word of advice about this. When you comb this through your hair, you really want to make sure that you hold it straight up and down because if you tilt it too far back or too far forward or especially if you comb against the grain you could very well end up with a bald spot. Alright, this last one is an optional product and that's hair dye. My natural hair color is almost black and so when I tried to do this style originally it didn't really work out because my hair was so dark that you, you couldn't even see the texture. It was just kind of like a big blob of hair. And uh, I was going to a convention, and so I tried all kinds of hair dyes to find the best color. And this is the best one that I've found. It's Garnier Nutrice, uh, number 53, medium golden brown. And that's, I find that that gives you the best color match to um, David's hair. So if you're brave, or if you're going to a convention, and you really want to look the part, or if you just have black hair like me, and you are tired of having black hair, uh, this is the best color match that I've found. One quick note about hair length and sideburn length. Um, right now, the top of my hair, when it's uh, not styled and when it's fully straightened, it comes down to right about my eyebrows, maybe just a little bit above. And this length works really nicely for um, both versions of the sticky uppy. It's not quite long enough for the other style yet. Um, so when you go to your stylist, you know, bring them a picture of David Tennant and they'll, they'll get the style quite right. Uh, another quick thing. You know about the sides you really want them to cut it above the ear you don't want hair hanging over the top of your ear now as far as the sideburns go i would say to cut your sideburns generally right around the bottom of your earlobe um, there are a few episodes where david's are even longer than that so really it's a personal preference thing 
but um, generally the, I try to get mine at least uh, that long. All right, that's it for products. So let's talk about Sticky Uppy version one. Okay, first things first, wash your hair. It's really important that you wash your hair right before you plan on doing this style. Um, I know some people prefer to shower at night and then style their hair in the morning once it's dry, but at least for me, I've never had success doing it that way because once my hair has dried in that sort of flat forward position for so long, no matter how much product I use, it just does not want to stay upright. It just falls over. So if you wash your hair right before you plan on styling it, then it's going to be nice and soft and it'll take better to the styling products. Next, you want to give your hair a good towel dry. If you normally use a blow dryer, you can do that. Personally, I've never had great success with it and my hair always comes out better if it's slightly damp when I put the hair concrete in. Um, it works well on totally dry hair also, but um, if your hair is a little bit damp, once you put the concrete in, it really gives it just a little bit of a wet look. Not, not nearly as much as a gel would. It doesn't end up looking oily or greasy or anything because the hair concrete actually uh, has a matte finish. But it will help your hair kind of maintain that tiny little bit of moisture and give you just the right look that uh, David has. Alright, once your hair is mostly dry, you want to take your styling comb and just comb it all forward. You know, comb the back down, the sides down. Next step is to straighten your hair. And this will take out most of the remaining moisture that's still in your hair from uh, the towel dry. One important thing to note when you're straightening, you really kind of want to straighten your hair up and out a bit. Um, you don't want to straighten it down because then you'll have trouble getting the hold that you want. It'll kind of tend to fall forward too much. All right, once you've gotten a good bit straightened, you want to just give it a quick run through with your comb. That'll just kind of give you an idea of which sections need a little more work. All right, now that my hair is all straightened, you can get a better idea of how long my hair really is. Um, so, you know, if I were to pull it down, just, just above uh, eyebrow length. All right, now, the all-important step, you want to apply your hair concrete. Now, the most difficult part is getting the right amount of this stuff. Um, you don't need much, and it, so generally to be on the safe side, you want to start with a little bit less, you know, if you're not sure how much you need, because if you have too much, your hair is going to be really heavy and it's going to get really chunky and fall over. And um, if you don't have enough, you can always add a little more. I'd say in general, you start with a decent finger full, and what you want to do is put that in your palm and then rub your hands together. And that will really emulsify the uh, product and we'll get it spread out nice and evenly because if you end up with a clump of this stuff in your hair, it's really tough to get it out. Alright, now you want to work it in. I usually start with the back half and what's really important is you really want to make sure you get the roots because if you have too much hair concrete on the ends of your hair and not enough on the roots, as you might expect, your hair is going to fall over. So you really want to work it in nice and evenly, best you can. And I usually start to do kind of a faux hawk thing just to get the hair moving in the right direction. And what I'll do is I'll grab it and pull it forward also. And obviously it's not going to stay that way for very long, um, but that gets your hair in the right shape. All right, so you're gonna look like a weirdo for a second. So first things first, we have to fix the sides. And so I generally just kind of ruffle them and smush them down till they're mostly flattened out. And I'll you know flatten out the back at the same time. All right, once they're mostly there, grab your styling comb. And I'll usually start with these two corners, like the widow's peak area, and with using the end of the comb, just kind of comb that forward just a bit. And I kind of comb it towards the middle. And uh, so now I'll comb the back forward a bit. And depending on if you want to do the side part thing um, that David has much of the time, you know, now, now's the time to sort of get that going. And I'll generally comb it down and forward. 
And then what you're going to do is take the comb and comb the front just kind of straight up. All right, now once you have that general shape, now you're just going to kind of pick and pull. And I, again, I kind of do the faux hawk thing and pull it forward. Now is the time when you want to get it just about to where you like it. So basically I'm just kind of picking apart tiny sections and pulling little bits forward here and there. And, and if your hair is as long as mine, obviously you're going to start to have the fringe area that starts falling. And that's, that's good. I mean, obviously you want that. But the nice thing is that this version of the sticky uppy also works nicely if your hair is a little bit on the shorter side. So if you just got a haircut and the stylus cut a little bit short, like mine did last time, um, this style still looks good. Now, uh, with the sides, it's personal preference. I mean, I know some episodes David has this wispy thing going on. Um, other times you can, you know, he has it more kind of combed and back a bit. So that's up to you, whichever style you feel like for the day. All right, so once you're done styling, um, if your hair is on the shorter side, you probably won't need the hairspray. Uh, because the hair concrete really does give you a really great hold. But if your hair is a little bit longer like mine, now it's time for hairspray. So I don't use much. Basically, I'll just give it a couple spritzes in the back. And when I do the front, you want to make sure you try and get the roots. Just to, you know, give a little added hold so that your hair doesn't fall over completely. And once you finish spraying it, I usually try and work the hairspray into the roots a little bit just to really help maintain that hold. And now, before the hairspray totally sets, you just kind of want to put your finishing touches on, you know, smooth out any areas that are sticking up that you don't want to be, or that sort of thing. So this is where you nitpick. And that about does it for Sticky Uppy version one. So let's, uh, let's talk about version two. All right, so version two, as you can imagine, the first bit is the same, so. Fix the sides. Get the comb through it a bit, comb the back forward. Now, this is where this style is a little bit different. Um, what you wanna do is kinda of comb it all forward, and now what you're gonna do is basically give yourself a comb over. Um, David's hair goes towards the right side, and mine just so happens to also work that way. If yours doesn't, that's fine, because most people probably wouldn't notice it anyway. But yours is going to the left. So, you give yourself a comb over, kind of flip the front over like that with the comb. Just get this general shape happening. Alright, so once you have that, now you're going to ruffle and mess up your hair again. And now, you're going to start picking and pulling it forward, and the difference is here, I mean, your hair is going to hold the, the comb over shape a bit, so that's how you're going to get most of that kind of curl thing happening. Uh, but if you have any stubborn pieces that are sticking straight up or going the wrong way, all you have to do is kind of twist and bend them the way that you want, and the hair concrete will do the rest. Now, the main thing with this version of the Sticky Uppy is that you really want to make sure that your fringe area has kind of a uniform shape. What you don't want to happen is to have this front section that's like hanging down and then this major degree of separation and then the rest is sticking up and it looks kind of funny. So you may need to do one of these and ruffle the front a bit just to get it kind of even so you have a nice even flow of, of uh, falling bits. This look I feel like is suited to the side part pretty well. Now it's time for hairspray. Same deal, a couple spritzes in the back. A little bit in the front. A little over the middle. And again, you're going to want to work the hairspray into the roots a bit, put on any finishing touches that you need. And if you have any bits of hair that are kind of fanning out, you can just kind of grab them and twist the ends together so that they get a little more pointed looking. That about does it for a sticky uppy version 2. 
So uh, now let's talk about the Barefoot on the Moon style from your hair is a bit longer. All right, so here we go again. Now this time, when you're both combing and straightening your hair, you're gonna wanna push it towards the right side since that's really what this style wants to do. And here you might actually want to straighten the front sort of downwards instead of up like before since in this particular style, a lot of the front is actually going to be hanging down over your forehead. All right, so you can see now my hair length is more like a little past my eyebrows. And you know, you can do this style even if your hair is a bit longer than that too. All right, now this time when you're applying your hair concrete, you wanna actually start out with a little bit less than you would normally use for like a normal sticky epi or something like that because uh, since a lot of this hairstyle is going to be hanging down, you don't need quite as much hold, and if you have too much of this, your hair might end up being a little bit um, chunky and end up a little bit greasy looking, might even irritate your forehead a bit. And we'll apply the hair concrete the same way as we did before, starting with the back and the front. Flatten out the sides a bit. Now we're going to take our comb and basically kind of comb the whole thing straight forward. So I'm also going to comb mine towards the right side. So here's the major difference. Now what you're going to do is start your side part and I'm going to use the comb and I kind of come down and kind of swoop up a little bit to get that center section standing. And on the other side, just kind of comb it up towards the center a little bit. Now, start with the uh, faux hawk business. And I'll just kind of grab big chunks of hair here and pull it towards the center so you can get that bit that stands. Now, you're just going to kind of tinker, get the uh, front fringe the way you like it, and generally this side you'll have kind of a wispy thing happening, and you'll get this general wavy look. And this area here is where, you know, you really want some of it sticking up. Now at this point, you may need a little bit more hair concrete just for this area, just to give it the extra hold. So I'm going to actually add a tiny bit more. And when I add little bits like this, I generally just keep it on my fingertips. I don't really rub it into the palms that much because you're not going to be applying it to your whole head, just this one area. Once you're just about there, you want to put your hairspray in. And now for this style, I'm not going to bother working the hairspray into the roots either because, again, you don't need that type of hold for this. You just kind of want to smooth over any sections that might be um, sticking out in places that you don't want them to. So there you have it. Barefoot on the moon. Now all we need is a proper outfit. That's better, hello. Oh, I'm very good. Well, I say very good. I mean not bad. Well, I say not bad. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you to get some amazing hair like me. Allons-y!